Okay, class, this is number nine. Um, anytime the number is red in the book, that means the problem is worked out in the back of the book. So I haven't looked at how the book worked this one out. Uh, so I don't know if the way I'm going to show you is the same as the way the back of the book showed you. But, uh, you know, that's kind of neat that you could have maybe two different approaches to the same problem. Okay, so I'll work number nine out, and uh, you can look in the back of the book and see if it's similar or different. Uh, anyways, starting uh, number nine. Uh, I'm going to work backwards. I'm going to start at the very end of the problem. It says, I have $11 left in my, my wallet. Okay, and be, just before that, I spent $9 in the movie. Okay, so that means I must have had $20 left in my wallet. Okay. Because if I spend nine dollars at the movies, now I can get down to eleven dollars left in my wallet. So I must have twenty dollars in, in in my wallet. So what I'm going to do is add nine and eleven, and and it's like I'm doing the opposite of what you'd think because it says I spent nine dollars, which would mean subtraction. But I want to figure I'm going working backwards, so I'm going to add that back on. Okay. The next thing is the next day she received ten dollars from her uncle. So you'd actually want to subtract that from our total because we must have had $10 less than that before. So now let's think about this. Um, $10 less than $20, we must have had $10. Then uh, our uncle gave us 10 more, which is 20. And then we subtracted 9 to get a total of 11. So we're just doing the opposite. So we started, we had $11 in the wallet. We're doing the opposite of subtracting. So, so we're adding on 9. We're doing the opposite of subtraction, or, or adding for the next one, so we're subtraction, subtracting off 10. And then the next one, we're, we're dividing by 2. Well, what's the opposite of dividing by 2? We're going to multiply by 2. And then lastly, we loaned $5 to our, uh, my, our sister, which means we must have had $5 to loan in the first place to subtract off. So if you do this calculation, this is how much money you're starting with. Okay, and if I do this, I get 25. Now let's see if it makes sense. So I start with 25. I loan $5 to my sister. Okay, and I'm left with 20. Okay, and then I give half of it away. So 10 divided by 2, that's, uh, or excuse me, 20 divided by 2. Now we're down to 10. Okay, and then our uncle gives us 10 more dollars. That would be plus 10. Okay, now we're back up to 20, and then we spend $9 on the movie, and sure enough, when we do all these calculations, if we start with 25, we do end up with 11. So working backwards, we got to 25, so 25 must have been where we started.